At some point in nearly any project, you'll need to create dimensions of your objects. The Constrained Linear Dimension tool, located in the DIMMS Notes toolset, creates dimension lines that are constrained to the X and Y axis of the document. Most commonly used in 2D plan view, but can be used for 2D or 3D objects, the first mode, Constrained Linear, creates a single linear dimension between two points. Click once on the first point, click again on the second point, and the third click will set the offset distance of the center line from the dimensioned object. The second mode, Constrain Chain Mode, will create a chain dimension object that will have a single center line offset but multiple witness lines that extend down to the objects you wish to dimension. Click once where you wish to begin the chain dimension, then a second click on the first point you wish to dimension to. Third click will set the offset of the center line for the entire chain dimension series, and each subsequent click on additional points will set the location of another witness line. Double click on the last point you wish to dimension to to complete the operation. Keep in mind that you can select the chain dimension and use modify, ungroup to break the chain dimension into single dimensions that can be manipulated individually. Here we'll take a moment to discuss the Preferences button for this tool, as it pertains mainly to chain dimensions. Here you can choose whether to create a single chain dimension object, as was shown before, or to have Vectorworks automatically create individual dimension objects, one after another, removing the need to ungroup a chain dimension, if that's what you'd planned on doing in the first place. The other option at the bottom of the Preferences dialog box toggles whether Vectorworks will try to automatically prevent text collision between labels. If this is disabled, the dimension text may overlap. However, in both cases, this can be manually repositioned later. The third mode of the tool, Constrained Baseline Dimension, allows you to create multiple dimensions that all share an initial base point. The first click sets this shared point. The second click sets the centerline offset for the first dimension, and each subsequent click adds another dimension object. The offset of the centerline of each of these dimensions after the initial one will be determined automatically. The fourth mode, Ordinate Dimension, will create a series of dimensions that display the distance along the X or Y axis from an initial point. The first two clicks sets where zero will be, and along which axis the dimensions will be created. After that, any clicks further along the X or Y axis will show their distance along that respective axis from the original point. These distances are only relative to the first placed point, not 0, 0 in the document. The final mode, Dimension Selected Objects, requires that all the desired objects be selected before activating the Constrained Linear Dimension tool. Once you have your objects selected, and then activate the tool in this mode, for the first click will determine where the witness lines will extend to, and the second will determine the offset of the center line. The dimension will display with the total width or height of the selected objects altogether, depending upon whether your second click moves horizontally or vertically away from the original click. The Constrained Linear Dimension tool has a number of different powerful capabilities. Choose the one that suits your needs best.